no wires anywhere, man. They still different accessories. You just have to look around. And anywhere they got like electronics and stuff. Yeah, I tell her, yeah, I, I remember that little wire coming with it, but I just don't remember what I did with it. I probably, had to, whenever I get get home, I probably have to just really try to look for it, but shit, that's going to be a while if I get home, so I probably just need to see if they got something out before then. Hey, trying to get one. Yeah, I tried it, still coming in real static and pretty bad, so I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, you got that much room access to it? Yeah, it's pretty much no, I don't have the mushroom antenna. It's not my antenna fault. It, you know, it's just this damn CD player, man. I don't know. I got an extra uh, mushroom antenna you want to buy. Well, it ain't his antenna driver. It's his FM modulator that broadcasts to the radio that's giving him the problems. Uh, how far away from your radio is that modulator driver? Uh, sitting on my dash, and the radio's down on the lower part of my dash. Uh, it's like within two feet? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, I always try to keep that modulator as close to my radio as I can. Or uh, up there, up there, up high, close to the antenna, so I get as little little distance between it and, and where it's going to pick it up as possible. Hey, I got to show that mushroom antenna go to 25. Ready? Yeah, I know this thing pissing me off, getting on my nerves. Every time I get into the, um, no matter what city it is, it's pretty much anywhere, anywhere where it's a crowded area. I lose reception bad, and when I'm out on the road, away from everything, you know, I can hear it. This comes in a little bit better, but still, you can hear a lot of static in it. I wonder if you just got a bad modulator. Nah, not that I know of. I hadn't had it that long. I think I had it for like a month and a half, man. Mountains are... Oh, hell. Lose, lose it. I mean, your serious is, is uh, competing with the local radio stations. Uh huh. That's exactly right. You gotta, you gotta find that one spot on the dial where there's like no stations within like two clicks. I heard somebody out there say you need something called a direct connect. I don't know if. Uh, if uh, that's what you really need or not, but he's way off in the distance. I don't think you heard him over everybody else. But, but he said there's a thing that's called the direct connect that goes directly from your Sirius right to the radio, and, and that'll solve your problem. Yeah, yeah, they got those too. They usually plug into your uh, auxiliary inputs on the back of your radio if you can get to it. It plugs in the back of the Sirius set, or, or I have to pull out the CD player. Back, back in that. So you have to pull out the CD player and hook it up to the, like the the line in inputs, like for uh, for an amplifier or some some other kind of an input. A couple of RCA jacks might be on the back of that radio or on, on little cords hanging off the back. But you have to get that kit. And then you just plug it into your Sirius then, and it'll come in better. Uh huh. Yeah, you get direct digital quality sound when you do that. You get really, really good sound. Take it to one zero. That's one zero for that commercial company with Star. Give you some suggestions. Yeah, sure, connect. Yeah, 
I'll probably go ahead and do that. Because, yeah, I'm not really getting nothing on this. You know, I'm thinking, you know, it's still practically new. I only had it for like a month, man, a little over a month, close to a month and a half. I'm just thinking it's just this it's it's radio in this truck. It very well could be. Look on your serious receiver there, but the one I have even if I'm like to like top radio and so uh sort of station to see the it just bleeds over and stuff and this is kind of hard for this radio. The MFM has an input on it. You could hook it up like that and it would probably work real good. Oh look, a taxi coming in. He's coming in to drop off more whores. Texas. He's uh, just coming in the front and he's making a right down the road. No way, driver. If anybody see him, let me know what they look like. I'm just guessing. I know that's how they roll in Oklahoma City. Or they used to at that old Williams. There ain't too many uh, ladies in the night in Oklahoma City anymore. They busted a bunch of them. Yeah, I know the ones out there at the Williams, they used to roll in in a minivan and work shifts. About four of them would pile out, the ones who were done working and pile in and they go away and they were they were almost unionized. Oh, hey, what are you talking about, Williams, where at? They're talking about Morgan Road, is it? Yeah, the old Williams on Morgan Road. <laughs> yeah, I know they get to the bed by J and the TA, but yeah, they haven't been, they haven't been out there. They Now they hang out at uh, 137 at the shell. Oh, hell yeah. It's been a few years since I've spent any time in Oklahoma City, remember? I used to watch them work that lot, like, oh man, 